Hi, and welcome to the Introduction to Interior Lighting Quick Start video for V-Ray 4 Revit. In this video, we'll go over lighting techniques for interior spaces. Okay, let's get started. Launch your version of Revit. Here we have 2017 loading. Open up the project file interiorlighting.rvt, which you can download from this video's tutorial page online. If you are using a version of Revit newer than 2015, Revit will automatically update the model in a few seconds for you. This scene is a basic interior with some basic furniture, windows, and some interior lights. We'll start with the environment light first. Start an RT render using the sunlight that is already set up in the scene in Revit. Go to the V-Ray tab and set the current view to the Render view. Keep quality at draft and leave the resolution at 800 by 600 or adjust it as you prefer if you have a slower machine. Now leave artificial lights off and the sun is already enabled and ready to go. Click here to select Render with V-Ray RT. You'll notice some of these lights appear to be on despite our turning off the artificial lights. Now these are actually self-illuminating materials and not exactly lights per se. These materials are made to look like light sources and we'll cover them later. But sometimes Revit families are already set up with these self-illuminating or emissive materials already. Click Stop in the Progress window to halt the render. Click on the lamp and then click on Edit Type to replace the lamp's material. Select the material Lamp Glass disabled. This is included with the downloaded project for you. Then click OK. And now let's restart the RT render and you'll see those materials are not self-illuminating anymore. I'll move this to the side of my desktop to make some room. We see in the RT render that the sun is not lighting the room very well yet. While RT is still running, I can select the render view and go to the render settings. Click on the sun settings and here you can adjust the sun to suit your needs. Change the date to June and click apply and RT shows how the sun is creeping onto the porch a little bit now. Now change the time to 6.30 p.m. and you'll see the sun is coming into the space and gives it a nice sunset look to the room. Change the solar study from still to lighting for different types of controls on the sun and click apply. The new settings are based on azimuth and altitude to define the position and angle to the horizon of the sun. You can change these settings to see how the sun position changes the lighting. Now change azimuth to 292 to get that sunlight right into the space. Play around with the angle a little bit to see how that affects the room. Setting the angle to a lower number like 15 gives you a nice sunset or sunrise look, changing not just the angle but also the color of the light. Click on OK in both dialog windows. Click on the V-Ray Sun button to access the settings. Change the sun size from the default of 2, which is generally the most accurate setting, to 6, and our shadows get much softer. The higher you go, the softer the shadows will get, which may not be physically accurate, but might be a nice effect. Close the sun settings. Now, let's try switching from the sun to a dome light. RT updates to show the dome light as a solid color, kind of making this look like a cloudy scene outside. Let's enable Use HDR Image. There is an HDR image that is included by default, but you can use any HDR file that you would like. Now, We'll use the default one and play with the rotation settings to change the position of the sun in our dome to change the lighting in the room. Let's set the sun to 22 degrees to get the light back in the room. Stop the RT render for now, turn on artificial lights, and close the dome light settings. Click no light here to disable the dome light for the time being so we can focus on the artificial lights in the room. 
First, we'll add the self-illuminated materials back to the lamp shades. Select the lamp, click Edit Type, and on Shade, click here to select Lamp Glass as we had before. This is an emissive material, giving us light in the scene from the lampshade. Click OK. Let's go back to the V-Ray tab and click Render with V-Ray RT to restart the RT render. The lampshades are illuminating the scene, but it's rather dim. So let's adjust the exposure of our camera. Click on the camera settings icon here and adjust the exposure slider to bright interior with a value of about 8 and the scene brightens up quite nicely. Close the camera settings. Let's see a production render now. Stop the RT render. Click the Render V-Ray RT's pull-down arrow and select Render with V-Ray. After a little while, click Stop when you're happy with the draft quality. We can see that these wall fixtures don't appear to be on or doing much lighting. V-Ray for Revit looks at the settings in the Revit families to get their parameters when it lights the scene. So maybe these lights in the scene aren't bright enough. Click on that family and then click Edit Type. Scroll down and you can see the initial intensity is only 10 lumens, which is not at all bright. Click it and change it to 180 lumens and click OK. Now, instead of re-rendering the whole scene, Let's just render this region by clicking the Region Render button here and clicking and dragging a marquee window around this light. Go back to the V-Ray tab and click Render and it will update just that region and there's our light. Now let's look at emissive materials. These self-illuminated materials on the lampshade and on these can lights too makes them look as if they're turned on. So let's work on the light here. As you can see, it's a different color than the rest of the light in the room. With emissive materials, by default, they don't allow other lights to go through that surface. The warm light we have inside this lamp is only coming out of the top and the bottom of the openings in the lampshade model, as you can see on the wall. The cooler colored light here on the wall is coming directly from that emissive material itself and not the light inside the lamp. Using a V-Ray material, however, we can allow that light to pass through the material if you need. Go to the Material Browser and type in the word Lamp to find it in the browser. You'll see Lamp Glass as one of the materials. Click the drop-down Autogen and replace that with V-Ray Material. That opens a file browser. Navigate to the emitter material.vrmat material that comes with the tutorial, select it, and click open to assign the material to the lamp shade. Select a region around the lamp in the V-Ray frame buffer or VFB and click render. It only changes slightly. It's still only using the self-illumination from the material here on the wall. To let the light pass through the lamp shade, Click in the Material Browser to expand the Materials Settings. Click on the Edit V-Ray Material button. Select the Advanced tab and click on the Options section. Disable Cast Shadows to enable the light inside the lamp to go through the shade. Click on File Menu and save the changes to the material and close the editor. Now, re-render that region and you'll see that the light inside is coming through and lighting the wall alongside the self-illumination from the shade's emissive material itself. While this looks good, the light is not physically accurate because of that emissive material on the lampshade. But that's easy to address by changing the lampshade's material to be more like a real frosted glass as opposed to an emissive self-illuminated material. In the Material Browser, click on the Lamp Glass Material drop-down to set it back to Autogen and close the browser. Select the Lamp object and click on Edit Type here. In the Type Properties window, click on the shade's Lamp Glass Material for the Material Browser window. Click on the Appearance tab and turn off the self-illumination checkbox and click OK. 
Click OK in the Type Properties window. In the V-Ray tab, click on Render to see the change which creates a more predictable, accurate result for the light in the lamp with a frosted glass shade. Now, let's get the artificial lights to work alongside the environmental light. Turn off the Render region in the VFB. Start an RT render again. Select the dome light to turn it back on. RT updates and shows us this is way too bright. One way to do this, which is not physically accurate but still effective, is to reduce the intensity of the dome light. Set it to 0.1 and the environment light is much less bright overall. Making the intensity down even further gives us a nighttime render with a little bit of environment light coming in from outside. Now, stop the RT render, change the quality to high, and set the resolution to 1152 by 864 for a bigger, nicer quality render. Click to render with V-Ray to start the final rendering. Now, the longer you allow it to render, the cleaner the result becomes. Now, we'll elapse a little time here as the render resolves to a nicer quality. And there you go. Thank you for joining us for this introduction to lighting with V-Ray for Revit Quick Start video. Uh -huh.